Are you looking for a comfortable all-rounder, a supportive shoe for overpronation, or a speedy racer for a new personal best? There is no one best shoe for everyone. We have tested over 100 running shoes and put them through the ringer here in our lab to help you find your best pair. See our highly recommended models in the several categories down below. Let's start with the best overall, the ASICS Nova Blast 3. The third iteration of this shoe marks a revolution in the all-rounder game. This lightweight marvel ticks all the boxes with unmatched grace, boundless energy, rightfully claiming its throne as the ultimate running shoe. Indulging in the Nova Blast 3 was an absolute thrill. It felt superbly balanced regarding the stiffness, ensuring a remarkably bouncy and vibrant handling even on the most intense tempo workout. How natural and weightless it feels is nothing short of mind-blowing. Based on the measurements from our lab, it sits at a feathery 228 grams, while the average running shoe weighs significantly more at 271. The foam underfoot became our dream's fuel, oozing divine levels of comfort for double-digit miles. Pushing our durometer against this silky and colorful midsole confirmed our sensations as it emerged as 52% softer than average. It's a long-lasting nectar whose wonderful flavor remained the same even after 150 miles hitting the road, setting new standards for what a versatile trainer should be. On top of this, it's very stable. The platform of the Nova Blast 3 is wider than average at the forefoot, with a difference of 4.2 millimeter, and at the heel, 5.3 millimeters wider. However, while the Nova Blast 3 can easily handle quick paces, we felt it lacked the explosive power required in this era of racing shoes. For those seeking a personal best obliterator, exploring other options might be sadly the way to go. On to the best daily trainer, the Nike Pegasus 40. The 40th birthday of the Pegasus series dropped the ultimate daily trainer. With the reliability of a Toyota, it balances fresh cushioning and tireless responsiveness, all while remaining unfazed by the mileage. As polyvalent as it gets, one of the highlights of the Pegasus 40 lies in the midsole design. Boasting two air zoom units nestled beneath the React foam at the forefoot, it stormed our toe-offs with ease while ensuring a fair amount of energy return. Also, the shoe is crazy bendable in all directions, which makes it feel awesomely natural on the foot. In fact, using a force gauge to measure the Pegasus 40's resistance to our 90 degree bend test puts it among the top 6% of the most flexible shoes we've tested in our lab. We threw everything at the Pegasus and it stood tall against it all. We fixed the shoe to our lab benches and applied a rotary force of 3.2 Newtons to its upper at 10K RPM for four intense seconds with our Dremel. The upper is virtually unbreakable. The abrasion was not enough to break through the upper, which happens to the majority of shoes that face the same test. We also pushed our durometer against the outsole to check its firmness. Harder rubbers tend to last longer, and with a score of 86 HC, the Pegasus boasts one of the toughest outsoles we have ever tested, delivering exceptional durability. Now, did the Pegasus 40 give us that winged horse feeling? Not quite. Runners seeking a quick and exhilarating all-rounder to pump the adrenaline levels up might end up utterly disappointed. Now let's have a look at the best for speed training, the Puma Deviate Nitro 2. This speedster is a specialist in overcoming all sorts of fast workouts, seamlessly combining power and comfort in divine harmony. There's no other way around it. The DV8 Nitro 2 exudes pure speed. Its carbon plate acted as a powerful propeller, constantly urging us to push the boundaries of our pace. In our lab, we locked it by its tip and bent it to 90 degrees, and it resisted with an impressive 58.8 Newtons, emerging as 42.1% stiffer than the average. Surprisingly enough, unlike other plated shoes, the ride of this Puma feels supernatural and buttery smooth underfoot. The delightful foam offers a sweet spring off without making comfort pay for it. We used our durometer to test the midsole softness and discovered that it is indeed 
35% softer than the average, enhancing the overall versatility of the shoe across a variety of speed sessions. However, we were underwhelmed and utterly disappointed by its somewhat bulky feel. Weighing 260 grams, it definitely falls on the heavier side for a tempo shoe. Now here it is for you racers out there. The best for race is the ASICS Metaspeed Edge Plus. If performance is what you're looking for, then look no further. As the rawest brother from the ASICS Racing Kicks, the Metaspeed Edge Plus furiously ignited every stride without overlooking the comfort required for longer races. All things considered, it's no wonder that this is our number one pick for racing days. This wild beast really came alive out on the streets, brutally unleashing energy like no other. With its 8.1 millimeter drop and full length carbon plate working in devilish harmony, each toe off propelled us forward with unbridled energy. The insane stiffness of the plated shoe is where their power lies. And the Edge Plus is no exception. In our attempt to bend it 90 degrees, it fought back with an impressive 63 newtons of force, showcasing 97.5% more stiffness than the average racing shoe. While the Edge Plus offers a touch of that classic, close to the ground sensation, it's just about lofty enough to provide a protective ride, topping the average shoe by only 0.6 millimeters at the heel and one millimeter at the forefoot. Our durometer ranked its foam at about 24% firmer than the average, feeling quite aggressive and ensuring we kept our composure up until the end of our training sessions. On the other hand, we do not recommend the Metaspeed Edge Plus for those seeking an all-rounder that can also handle daily runs, as it feels like a fish out of water when we took it out on slower paces. Now for all you pronators out there, the best stability shoe is the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 23. Now let's be honest, corrective shoes for pronating strides just aren't that sexy. But the Adrenaline GTS 23 subverts our expectations with a sleek and comfortably designed daily trainer that even neutral runners will be happy to have in their rotation, making it easily our top pick for best stability running shoe. Stability shoes tend to be quite stiff with the aim of correcting a pronating stride by limiting lateral foot movement. The Adrenaline GTS 23 achieves this when it comes to torsional rigidity, earning a four out of five in our manual assessment. In terms of longitudinal stiffness, however, the Adrenaline GTS is remarkably flexible, requiring only 17.7 newtons of force to bend the shoe 90 degrees in our test, making it significantly more flexible than the average shoe. This combination gives us a healthy mix between stability and comfort as the shoe is able to easily bend with our foot while also correcting any excessive foot roll. Further contributing to the shoe's stable ride is the behemoth of a platform down here. Using our caliper, we measured the Adrenaline GTS 23's midsole to be 117.3 millimeters at the forefoot and 96.9 millimeters wide at the heel. This means that we have a much broader than average platform that kept us feeling sure-footed during landings and toe-offs, while also not feeling overly blocky when taking corners. With a high heel drop of 12.6 millimeters, the Adrenaline GTS 23 is a little too steep for forefoot strikers. This drop will feel even more exaggerated considering how thick the stack is at the heel and how short it is at the forefoot measuring 34.1 millimeters versus 21.5. This means that forefoot strikers will only benefit from lots of ground feel, but none of the plush cushioning that the midsole has to offer. Now for some luxury. For the shoe with the best plush cushioning, it's the ASICS Gel Nimbus 25. Staying true to itself, the 25th edition of the Gel Nimbus brought the clouds to the streets, steadily locking our feet in to heavenly levels of comfort. This is why we found it the ultimate running shoe when it comes to plush cushioning. As we marked the ground with each footstep, the Nimbus erased any notion of landing impact from our minds. The midsole is shaped like our feet and provided us with a forgiving and refreshing ride that lasted for countless miles. In the lab and at room temperature, we pushed our durometer against this foam to put its softness to the test. It surpassed the average by 28.2%, confirming that its gentle sole 
that our feet came to know so well. This Nimbus enveloped our feet in a delightful dimension, perfectly cushioned from every angle. The midsole effortlessly fits into the max cushion category, boasting a stack height ranging from 38 millimeters at the heel to 30.2 millimeters at the forefoot. The knit upper felt stretchy and supportive, teaming up with the generously widened platform to ensure a stable and confident ride. Our trusty caliper measured the widest part of the forefoot to be 119.4 millimeter, an exceptional 6.9 millimeters wider than the average. So it seems the Nimbus 25 has gotten its priorities straight and performance isn't really one of them. Those looking for a do-it-all trainer that can handle faster paces will want to consider a different option. And finally, on to best for trail, the Hoka Speed Goat 5. Venturing into the wild wouldn't be the same without the Hoka Speed Goat 5. It reliably bites into the ground without getting a scratch on itself, delivering unwavering performance on the most technical of trails. This is why the Speed Goat 5 is our number one pick for hitting the trails. This Hawker Trail shoe is an untamed beast that thrives in diverse habitats, ranging from icy surfaces to muddy and rooty terrains. We felt the tread pattern of the three millimeter lugs aggressively grip the ground, keeping our strides secure and confident. No matter the conditions, we couldn't manage to put a, a dent on the outsole. Our durometer readings confirm that it's pretty durable construction, ranks it among the hardest we've ever tested in the lab with a hardness score of 84.5 HC. Speed is a key characteristic of this model, and it sure didn't go unnoticed on our runs. Our toe-offs oozed silky levels of smoothness thanks to the rocker design of the speed go. Add the bouncy and sparky midsole, and this is a shoe to leave the chronometer struggling. Plus, it's outstandingly delicate on our legs with our durometer revealing the midsole to be 60% softer than our current lab average. We also put it in the freezer to see how changes in temperature affect the midsole. And after 20 minutes, the shoe did get firmer by 63.6%, but is still 34% softer than most shoes at room temperature. We do not recommend this shoe for trail enthusiasts with very wide feet. As in typical Hawker fashion, the toe box is quite restricted actually 1.9 millimeters narrower than average. So those were our selections for the best running shoes of 2023. We hope that you find something that suits your needs among these. And please leave us any thoughts you have in the comments down below. Do you think that we were right in our choices or do you have any experience with any of these shoes? We'd love to hear it. Anyways, till next time, we gotta run.